Jesus and the disciples are continuing on their way to Jerusalem. And Jesus is walking with such determination that the twelve apostles are astonished. And the crowds are frightened. Everyone knows that something big is going to happen when Jesus makes it to Jerusalem. So Jesus tells them clearly what that will be. The Son of Man will be delivered to the rulers where he will be mocked and tortured and murdered. Three days later he will rise again. Now what would be a proper response when someone talks about an upcoming hardship? You should probably offer your help. You should probably offer sympathy. Maybe the person just needs a listening ear. You should tell them that you're praying for them. But James and John have a different approach. They approach Jesus and say, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask. Whatever we ask? That is a bold statement. They think they can make Jesus give them anything that their hearts desire. And do you know what they want? They want power. They want to sit on thrones beside Jesus when Jesus is in his glory. These guys really don't know what they are asking. They imagine Jesus' glory as ruling from a throne in Jerusalem. Jesus knows that his glory is on a cross. And there will be two more with him, one on his left and another on his right. James and John really don't get it. The other disciples are furious with James and John for asking such a question. But do you know what? I think they're sinning in their anger. And they're also missing the point of Jesus' sacrifice as much as James and John were. In fact, I bet that most of their anger came from the fact that they weren't brave enough to ask the request before James and John did. Jesus does not want us to influence this world through power, but he wants us to have influence through service. We serve our neighbors not because we ought to, but because we get to. When we serve, we look more like Jesus, and it's his sacrifice that will be known through our sacrifices.